If you're a couple in which one spouse is a non-working spouse or one spouse is working but one spouse is already retired, today we're going to talk about some retirement savings and tax strategies just for you. It's the spousal IRA. Also stick around to the end because we're going to talk about a strategy utilizing the spousal IRA to potentially put more money into your Roth IRA bucket for future tax-free growth, tax-free income, and tax-free legacy. I'm Scott with Searns Financial Group and the Retirement 360 Blueprint Process, where we work with people to help them answer their key questions. Are you on track for retirement? What can you do to improve your financial picture? And how can you reduce your tax situation? If you're a married couple and one spouse is a non-working spouse and one spouse is working, or if one spouse is already retired and one spouse is working, then a spousal IRA may be of benefit to you and your tax picture. First, we're gonna talk about what the spousal IRA is. After that, and more importantly, we're gonna talk about how to use this strategy towards your retirement and tax benefit. So let's start with what is a spousal IRA? Well, it allows the working spouse to contribute to an IRA in the name of a non-working spouse. To be able to do so, one spouse must have employment income and also must, you must be filing a joint return. Now, a benefit of this is you can make your contributions to a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA. But depending on how much you make, you may or may not be able to participate. Or you might just be able to participate in the Roth versus the traditional. So see irs.gov for all of the different phase out limits. Now another thing is that if one spouse has retired but the other spouse is still working, this can still apply to you even if you're in your 70s. The SECURE Act removed any age limits for contributing to IRAs or Roths. And what you can do is a variation of amounts and you can contribute for one person or for both. The key though is, is that the working spouse income has to be equal to or exceed the total contributions that are made. Now, the contribution limit in 2020 is up to $6,000 per spouse. And if you are age 50 plus, it's up to $7,000 per spouse. So let's just walk through a quick example. We've got a couple that one spouse is working, making $65,000 a year, and one spouse is non-working or retired. In this scenario, Spouse number one can make a $7,000 contribution to their IRA or Roth IRA, and at the same time, they can make a $7,000 contribution to spouse number two's IRA or Roth IRA. This is a great tool to be able to allow couples where there's one spouse that's not working or retired to be able to save for retirement. Now those are just the schematics to see if this might apply to you, but what's even more important is how you can utilize this strategy to your benefit. When it comes to the benefits and tax strategies of the spousal IRA, what's most important in utilizing this strategy is to utilize it to accelerate your family's retirement savings, making sure that you have enough to be able to retire. But another tax strategy that you can utilize is getting a bigger tax reduction. By contributing to a traditional IRA, you get a tax reduction by the amount that you contribute. By also contributing in the non-working spouse's name, you could essentially double your reduction. But another way to use it as a tax strategy is to put more money into your tax-free bucket or the Roth IRA. By utilizing the Roth IRA, you're creating potential tax-free growth, tax-free income, and tax-free legacy. Now I have one more tax strategy tip for you, but if you found value in this video so far, subscribe to our channel so that way you get notified as we continue to come out with other informational videos just like this to help you and your financial picture. All right, let's talk about the additional tax strategy in the spousal IRA. One of the common things that I hear from people is that they don't have enough disposable income to make a contribution to their IRA or to their Roth IRA let alone do it for a non-working spouse. But what they might forget is that they have other savings. So if you've saved a heavy amount into the taxable bucket, this is the bucket or accounts that generate income taxes each and every year, you can use this as an opportunity to shift that money 
into the tax-free bucket, getting it into the Roth IRA, providing tax-free growth, tax-free income, and again, a tax-free legacy. If you're looking into the spousal IRA, maybe one of your goals is how you both can get to retirement as soon as possible. If so, check out our video on how to retire early. I've put a link in this video as well as a link in the comments below. I hope you found this video to be of value. If so, subscribe to our channel. That way you get notified as we continue to come out with other informational videos to help you and your financial future. If you have questions specific to your financial future, utilize our website to set up a complimentary phone call. By utilizing our website, you can set up a day and time that works best for you. Thanks and have a great day.